Um, it's the newest of only four study groups. Um, and this is the inaugural trip, the first trip abroad for the newly formed uh, study group on, on Korea. And they've been here for a good part of the week in South Korea, and it's, it's a great honor that, that you've decided to come here to Yonsei University. Um, you're going to be spending the time today with a group of our students who are drawn from two parts of this huge university. Um, and those two parts are the Graduate School of International Studies, GSIS as we call it, and the uh, Underwood International College, uh, UIC. You can imagine when it was set up, we did not know what an exciting time it was going to be in South Korea, in Korea. We were here before New Year's Day. Uh, this discussion would probably be a lot different than it is today. And I'm wondering how all of you have been viewing these changes uh, and what you think it will, how you think it will impact your future, regardless of how it turns out. Thank you. I am uh, extraordinarily interested in, in your view of, of the political and geopolitical uh, environment that we're in. Yeah, but for us, our generation, who are not direct victims of the war, we feel less strong about North Korea and their criminal Generally, among our friends, um, my friends, a lot, I speak for the whole Korean population, but uh, among my friends, um, we say we sort of support this movement or this talks, obviously, because um, the alternative to the most. Uh, but um, there is a sense of consciousness that we all feel because of the events that have happened within, even within our friends <laughs> during the 2011. There were like military confrontations, so um, I guess most of the, most of what my friends say is that yeah, it's it's all good, but you know how much can we trust them? It's still still not as hundred percent um, trustful. <laughs> advising me as a as an elected official here what would you tell me about the, the younger generation period I think I'm most interested um, you know we're seeing demographic shifts and demographic tensions in America and American politics certainly you know, a friction between an older generation and a rising millennial generation that sees the world very differently um, tensions of isolationism versus if you see polling of the younger generation, they see them as global citizens in some ways. And I'd be curious if you're seeing a similar friction or dynamic playing out in South Korean society. It's very different. It's so different, and it's all compressed. So yes, there's a huge tension, I would say.